my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode is More Like Mary. Mary is the woman that worshipped at the feet of Jesus. Many things have been said about the story of Lazarus' sisters. One's name was Martha, who was busy working preparing food for the people at their home who was with Jesus. She was ministering in her own way, but she was upset that Mary wasn't helping her. Martha's calling may have not been Mary's calling. Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus. She was doing what she was supposed to do. She was worshiping him. Mary was the same woman who later on poured out precious ointment on Jesus' feet in the story of the alabaster box. Notice verse 2, John 11, 1 and 2. Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. People sometimes get angry with you because they feel you need to be doing one thing while God may have you doing something else. Mary could have helped Martha in the kitchen, but she was sitting at Jesus' feet learning, which in the grand scheme of things was more important. In this situation, Mary was learning how to sit and soak in the atmosphere that was surrounded by Jesus. I'm not making light of all that Martha done to serve, but Mary was where she needed to be at that moment. Sometimes God will put us aside and tell us to take some quiet time of prayer and study. He doesn't want us out doing other things for the kingdom. Sometimes we are to quietly sit and worship at his feet. He knows where he is getting ready to use us and he wants us to be prepared. He prepares us in the quiet times when we are sitting at his feet listening for him to speak to us. It is in the quietness of reflection on his word that we gain strength. He shows us the deeper things and opens our understanding. In the quiet times, he will help us know our identity in him. There are times when we can get so busy serving him and doing all the things that we feel makes us a good Christian that we neglect our time with him. We neglect our relationship. People in ministry especially have to focus hard to find their quiet time. It's easy to get caught up in the ministry and miss the minister of Jesus. Later, six days before his burial, Mary went to the house of Simon, a Pharisee, and poured out the oil to anoint his feet. Mary worshiping at Jesus' feet and wiping his feet with her hair was a sign of humility. Also, the word of God says that a woman's hair is her crowning glory. So she was saying, my crowning glory is not worth much compared to you. I use it to wipe your feet. Sitting quietly at Jesus' feet the first time prepared her to enter into Simon's house and be brave enough to go and anoint Jesus' feet. If she had been rushing around in the kitchen with Martha, she may not have had the courage to anoint him with the ointment. This was necessary for his burial since he was not in the grave long enough for the women to anoint him in the tomb. My pastor used to say, sometimes you need to come apart before you fall apart. He would reference Jesus getting on a boat and going to the other side to be alone with his 12 disciples. We all need to take time to refresh in the quiet times of communication with God. We are at a critical time in the body of Christ. Many decisions need to be made quickly. Lines are being drawn in the sand and we need to be sure we are on the right side of the battles. Sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening for his direction will be what carries us through. Then we will be glad that we were more like Mary in this instance than Martha. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a good day.